OMG, I can't believe no one mentioned the rat problem at this place yet. My husband and I lived in an apartment near the garbage chute and our furry four-legged friends would run up the corroded walls straight into our apartment. We were surrounded like in the birds. Constant scratching in the walls. Scratching and squealing down the bathtub drain. And they took over our kitchen. By chewing a hole through the wall in one of the bottom cabinets, they were able to squeeze their way in and start raiding the food and candy stashed in the drawers. One night, one of the buggers had the nerve to sit in the doorway of my kitchen and sit up on its hind legs as if to say, can I have some more? Like it was actually my pet. I have never been that close to a mouse before and never want to be again. On top of it all, we not only had mice, which are bad enough, but we also had rats, which are bigger, meaner buggers than mice and totally scary. The high pitched squeals they make are unbearable. The exterminators who I was on a first name basis with by the time I finally made parole caught one in this hella big trap. And luckily I didn't have to see it before they took it away. My husband did though, and he is scarred for life. But just seeing the outline of its huge rodent body sent a shiver down my spine. By the time I got out of this very expensive, supposedly fully renovated hovel, which came with a slew of other problems, including pest problems, we had a fly infestation of biblical plague proportions once, and insane residents slash visitors. Someone stole my costly laundry cart straight from the laundry room once. Some drunken idiot came to my door one night looking for some girl who used to live there and he ended up trying to grope me before I closed the door on his drunk ass. Homeless people galore roam the hallways. Ghetto birds fly over constantly. And we once saw a bust right outside of our window that looked like something out of Michael Mann's heat. I was well versed in the mind of your average rodent to the extent of knowing the proper way to set a trap, which includes analyzing the trail of its stinking doo-doo, mind you. I caught like six of them mothers while my husband was away on a trip. Disposing of them was not the highlight of my weekend. I talked to several neighbors who said that this infestation had been the case for years. Some even stopped walking their dogs in the front courtyard because they didn't want to risk them being bitten by the rats that run around in there. I was like, huh? Really? Sure enough, I come home from work late one night and as I'm walking next to the courtyard, a rat happily bounces its way alongside me on the wall and then boing, jumps into the lap of this dude that's just sitting there having a smoke talking on his cell phone. He sprang, he sprang 10 feet into the air with terror. Okay, so that was actually funny. But gross as hell, I hated living with this. BTW, the Los Angeles County Board of Health, did balls to help us with this situation. They claimed they couldn't do anything about the vermin in our apartment unless there was rat slash mice feces present. Even if a dead rat was laying in front of them, they said, we, just could have put it there ourselves. Okay, I just didn't think to save the smelly, unsanitary poo our friends left, left us. What was I thinking? We were 
just asphyxiating from the fumes, but you're right. We should have waited to clean it until after you came, which only took two weeks after my initial phone call. They did cite the building for unsanitary garbage management, so I guess that's something. Please think twice before renting here. Someone had to tell you. I feel much better now. <laughs>